Hello there, everybody. I'm Anaji, and this is FMV Reviews. Now, today I thought I'd watch a classic. I've seen this movie put be put into the horror category quite a bit, and I'm kind of curious. Plus, the lighting looks dope. So today I'm going to be watching the 1955, The Night of the Hunter. So let's get into it. This music is beautiful and spooky at the same time. I mean, this score is awesome. I love this score. Sounds like a dream. It's like when he said don't, they did it harder. They're like, oh, oh, you complaining? Handcuff him extra tight. Tell me. Oh, 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 dang. Man of God. Heidi and me worked out betwixt us. Now, bet. My man is like that. Y'all see the meme of the thug preacher? Y'all lived in a castle over in Africa. <laughs> That's not the place. It was called Wakanda. What? Ain't nobody stole dad's skiff. He's giving him a cup of coffee? Dude, I couldn't even imagine drinking coffee at his age. I, I would have been bouncing off the walls. Be back to spoons for Pearl. Little man is like a working man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, getting his coffee in the morning. Ooh. My, that fudge smells yummy. It's for the picnic. I think it's safe to say old lady is charm. Man, my man's got a voice. Like, this man knows what his uh, his tools and his assets are, and he's flexing them. He's storytelling, charisma, you know, singing. My whole body's just a quivering with cleanness. <laughs> and then she walked away. Uh, it, she's like, a murder weapon. Me to get clean, so I can be what Harry wants me to be. God is like, that dude's a con man. <laughs> that dude's got a switchblade. I'm sending you clues. You just not looking. And clothes. My man just like, my man just put that toxic masculinity down and was like, look. When us men are doing what we do, that's not our fault. Yes, I know that I did the terrible thing, but what you don't understand is it's your fault. <laughs> That's literally what this dude did. Oh, man. She said you told her I asked where that money was hid. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did do that because I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't know nothing. Little man standing up like a G. He's like, he's like what? What's up, bum? Oh, oh, oh! Girl, you swore you would... I never told you he threw it in the river, did he? Oh, oh. Brandy in here. What? A man of the cloth? He's like, just, just a little a bit snack? of that... That what? drink. Screw that <laughs> just a little bit of that drink to get you through the day. So I get through my day. That's what he said. Dang. My man, you did not check the lake that you threw her in. My man looked straight into that water and saw that there's a lady down there tied to a car. You did a bad job. What happened to us? Will Daddy Powell take care of us? No. Yeah, I'll take care of you, all right. Just no. But first we'll have a little talk about our secrets. No. <laughs> and why not, no. Rito? Okay, now I know where this song is from. I heard this in Promising Young Woman. You and your gypsies, they've been gone a week. That good old, well, good old old school schism, huh? Mind me now. I'll get me a switch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, she went Southern style. You get a whooping. My man's like, no! I don't want to be cleaned! Ah! My man said religion, ugh. Oh, he coming through. I feel like this is not going to be the... She's not like the other women you've run into, dog. I don't think she's going to take this lying down. She strikes me as the kind of lady that has like a shotgun or something in the house. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah, she seems like that kind of lady. You whores of Babylon! He's, he's talking real cocky for this lady who got a shotgun just pointed right at his... Right at him. Run. Hide in the staircase. Run quick. Ru, 
Ruby, get. Ruby, ugh. What do you want? Ruby, this man will kill you. Y'all took a long time to come out here, bruh. The sun was down. It is firmly in the morning now. Yo, these people are rioting. Oh my man, you messed up hard, bro. You got a whole mob coming at you now. Are they taking furniture out of the guy out of the place? You just own that store, you just my chairs. My furnishing. Why? I didn't even do anything. They were just eating here. I think he's like their mother. You love this man, you met him one time. This man bought you some ice cream in a magazine. You were so mad you shot him. This movie is ending a lot more like bright and hopeful because this movie went hard at the beginning. <laughs> I was like, these kids are having to endure a lot. Lord save little children. Okay, so I just finished uh, The Night of the Hunter. And I have to say, it's it, that was a good movie. I liked it. I don't think it was like perfect or anything. I, I liked the lighting. And I did like Robert Mitchum. I think the movie has some weird pacing things in terms of like, there's like a middle section that it almost feels like the movie should be done and then it keeps going. But overall, pretty cool. I liked it. Um, I can see why it is a, uh, it is seen as sort of like an underrated classic. I could see it. Robert Mitchum is, his performance is really good. I like it. So yeah, I think overall, I would give it The Night of the Hunter. I would give it like a pretty high 7 out of 10. I do think that pacing gets a little odd in the middle. And I couldn't quite tell where the movie was going. And then it kind of takes some interesting story turns. But overall, I thought pretty good. I definitely think I'm going to go back through just for some of the cinematography and the lighting and the music. The music was really good. I, I definitely think there's some songs here that I'm going to put into a playlist. But yeah, let me know if you've seen Night of the Hunter. Let me know if you guys like black and white movies. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Because I'm trying to watch more like horror and spooky stuff since it's October. But until then, I will talk to y'all later. Peace.